I love to do these drive ups because then it explains to you what the place looks like, right? So you're not just wondering, well, what are the neighbors like? Nothing's more disheartening than coming, uh, you know, s several hundred miles away uh, or flying in or whatever, and then it's just a bunch of, you know, junky trailers or something like that. So I want to make sure you know what's going on. We got this wild driveway here. I mean, and it is wild. It needs a little bit of. Uh, of gravel on it you got a little creek here it's nice i haven't been here so this is you're as new to this as i am ken always says to me why don't you go check it out first i said well sometimes i don't have the time so i'm just giving it to you raw here and there you are you know it's hard to get mad or have a sour puss with a baby smile right baby giggling or whatever you get the idea Well, it'd be hard to be too stressed coming home to a place like this. You got to drive through all these uh, farm fields and, you know, just driving along the creek. There's the house right there. I remember him telling me about it, so I'm assuming that's it right there. It is. Uh, driving along the creek, driving along the river, coming up uh, just miles and miles. I'm talking a little incoherently because... I'm looking at everything else. I got a doggy. I don't want to run over the doggy. That would be like a very bad day for me, especially the doggy. I love my doggies. And I want to make sure I don't run over anybody else's either. Well, this is going to be great because I got the bird with me. So we're going to go up in the, up in the sky and do a fly. So will you come with me? Let's check this place out. You think I got an easy job. I've got to explain to you this place. It's it's big and it's hard to explain. It's uh, 25 acres. It's four bedrooms, four baths, about 4,200 square feet. Don't hold me to that. Ken will tell you better about that. But it's uh, true multi-generational. What I mean by that is there's a, there's a, a lower level here. Oh, don't growl. There's a, there's a, lower, there's a lower level here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you ever have any kind of issues, you can get right there. That's the outside house. So this lower level, I'll wait till I go inside because those crazy doggies. Now it's got two air units. There's one over there. It's pretty new. And there's one over there that's pretty new. Just settle down. Okay. Here we go. Now I can talk. True multi-generational, what I mean by that is full kitchen. You got a full kitchen right there. I say full kitchen. I'm lying. That's not true. It doesn't have a sink. It's got a stove and a refrigerator and no sink. It can't be. Yep, it can be. All right, so it's not a full refrigerator. A full, uh, there's a bathroom down there. There's a laundry room down here. There's one upstairs too. So this is the first place to come in. Really need to come in the great room, which is beautiful. So hold on with me. Hold tight. So this is uh, unfinished, clearly unfinished uh, bedroom. Get over there. There you go. So they're just here, just totally unfinished. That's it. That's all it is. But good space if you need it. If you need an extra bedroom, heck yeah. I would use it. You would too. You know it. <laughs> There's a sink, sink, a little dishwasher. So they got it going on, washer, dryer, big water heater, plenty of pantry room. So you just got to excuse their stuff because their stuff is important to them, just like your stuff's important to you. There you go. Another full bath, four full baths. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's go on upstairs. You're all in the woods up here. I can't show you on the phone because it's busy. And this is the main part of the house. You're going to love this. Fireplace. Real wood fireplace, I believe.
Now you see that window is cloudy? No problem, they're replacing that right now. There are a couple windows that are certainteed and they're guaranteed for life. The homeowner tells me they're guaranteed for life, so they're gonna replace all those. It's really a big house. It's kind of hard to see everything with their stuff in it, but you've got imagination. You can envision your stuff in here. These are local poplar floors, probably from a local Amish sawmill. A lot of the Amish have sawmills here. So you can, you can get more wood and it's really reasonable. And you can build stuff. I love to build stuff. Master on Main. You can drive around now. There's a driveway that goes all the way around the back of the house. And you come in on the, uh, in the sunroom. I'll show that to you. That picture right there is a Pauline Campanelli. Photographed their house, the Campanellis. Oh my gosh, 30 years ago? Well, not 30 years ago. 1990, so, oh my gosh, almost 30 years ago. I don't even know if they're still around anymore. Nice couple, they're both artists. I don't remember his name. This is another full bath. Now this one's small, you gotta step outside to change your mind. That's okay. Another laundry room. Two car garage. I'm not going to show you that because it has got stuff in it, but you get the idea. And then this sunroom comes off the back. A lot of porches everywhere. If you like porches like we do, you're going to love this. Now they're taking care of extended family members here, so you got to just excuse all the extra clothing and whatnot. There you go. Nice sun porch. I mean, really. This guy was in the painting business, so everything is painted properly. And you might want to come in and paint again. That's fine. And I believe Ken can help you with this. I don't know whether it goes with it or it's negotiable or it's a negotiating piece or whatever. But I, as I understand, I think you can talk to Ken about that. It's a great patio out here. And you are in the middle of the woods. This is, we should call this place the tree house because there is nothing around. There's no empty fields. You barely got enough to park your car down there. How about that for sweet? While I'm here, I'm just gonna stick the camera out here. I told you about porches. So that's where I'm parked down there. See the white car? And that's where we came in. There's the driveway. And then there's the driveway that goes around to the back. So there's several of these porches on here. So uh, at least two or three here on the front, you know, like a side one. And then, uh, and then there's one down below. Oh, as a matter of fact, I say there's two or three on this level in the front. And then of course you've got porches down below as well. Where those doggies were barking, I didn't even think about it. You know you're in Kentucky when you got a bourbon barrel on your porch. And the stone fireplace on the outside. This is uh, what she mentioned she calls like swamp cypress or whatever. They have them in Louisiana where they are uh, like in canals, these old logs, and they bring them out and they saw them and uh, they sell them. There's even some extra siding too, if you want extra. Now this is cool up here. You got another master up here, a little vaulted ceiling. The house is all electric, which around here, that's like a big thing. That's a good thing because our electric is so reasonable. Turn this light on. It's going to blind you. Oh, it's not too bad. Big closet. Dormers. 
What do you think of this one? This house on 25 acres, probably in the 300s somewhere. Not bad. It's a lot of house, 40, 4,200 square feet. This is my favorite bathroom. This is nice. I like it. Of course, that doesn't mean anything. Shower, big linen closet, big linen closet. Now, full walk-in for his and hers. Look at that. Sweet. I came in here before, scared the pee water out of me. Open the door and there was Santa Claus. I was like, my God. I thought it was somebody standing there. Well, it is somebody standing there. It's Santa Claus. Well, you got a uh, closet here and a closet there. There you go. Okay, that is the tour. What do you think? Four bedroom, four bath, 4,200 square feet, 25 acres in the 300s. Not bad. If this is right for you, call Ken. Hold on now, hold tight. Don't, 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 don't click off. We got to show you the aerials yet. But if it's right, call Ken. And if it's not right, then get on our home finder because our home finder will help you find a home. See, it's in the name. You're going to tell us a few things about what you're looking for. Then one of our people will call you up and then refine that and make it right, make it perfect so that you can find the place of your dreams. If you want to be out in the country, you are equidistance between Liberty, uh, Lebanon, and Danville. So it takes you about the same amount of time to get to each one of those uh, towns. And they're real towns. You know, they all have Super Walmart and... Uh, 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 medical center and all that kind of stuff. And I'll mark it here. I'll mark it right here if it's quicker for small shopping. When I say small shopping, I mean like Dollar General. So bread, milk, eggs, bacon, Coke, smokes, uh, beer, that sort of thing. Now, that's not a convenience store. They don't gouge you. In fact, their prices are a lot better than Walmart. But if you need bigger shopping like Walmart, and then if you need the real shopping, then I would consider that Starbucks and uh, TJ Maxx and all that kind of sort of thing. So, and I know that you're not far from Danville here. So, and then we have all that stuff. We have TJ, Ma TJ Maxx, Hobby Lobby, all that. So I'll put a lifestyle map right here too. I really appreciate you watching. Now hold tight for the bloopers and hold tight for the aerials. You guys are awesome watching my videos. Love it. Oh, heck, I've got to show it to you. Here, I was going to get in the truck, and we, we mentioned about upstairs and everything, and you've got all double decks. So you got one board that's bad there, we understand. That's something you talk to Ken about. He'll know how to handle that. But there you go. And here's more porches. So you got porches downstairs, porches upstairs, porches in the front, porches in the back. Really can't show you in the back because... They don't want you showing in the back. You saw out there, you saw the patio. It looks good. All right, going up now.
I can't wait to see your comments below. Like and subscribe because we've got a number of properties coming on the market that you're going to want to see. Don't forget to go to our website, bluegrassteam.com slash blog for the latest properties we have.